Hey, it's Vanessa, the Crafty Gemini, and in this video, we're talking about sewing clothes. I'm gonna share with you a great tip for using a magnetic seam guide that's gonna help you get nice straight seams in all of your projects. All right, so this tip is going to be for using a magnetic seam guide when you need to follow some type of an edge for a specific seam allowance. Now you may be thinking, why do you need this? If you're a quilter, you know, we most often use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Well, when we're sewing garments, within one garment project by itself, you might have three, four, or even five different seam allowances that you need to follow to sew some different seams. So for this Michelle tank top, which is my latest online video course that we offer on our website right now, it's currently on sale, the early bird sale price and Sunday, June 23rd, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. It's a simple tank top and also the tank top but the dress version with pockets. This project here features quarter inch seams, three eighths inch seams, one and a quarter inch seams. And so we have to be able to follow the guide at that measurement consistently to end up with the correct size project that we're planning to make. So let's grab my magnetic seam guide and head over to the sewing machine so I can show you how this works. If you don't have one and you want one after watching this tip video, click the link in the description box below. That'll take you to our online shop where you can get them. I sell a ton of these because I really love to use them for kids, beginner sewists, and for garment sewing projects like these that feature so many different seam allowances for one project. All right, so let's walk you through how you would be sewing at a sewing machine. I have here an under $200 affordable, just basic level sewing machine that is just mechanical. And on the throat plate here of this machine, the metal throat plate here, it just has vertical lines, but there are no numbers. Some will have numbers, like depending on your sewing machine make and model, they'll have numbers either in metric or imperial measurements, five eighths of an inch, a quarter, all that stuff really doesn't matter unless you have the needle in the exact center position that the sewing machine manufacturer wrote what the measurements are from, from the center needle position. As soon as you move that needle positioning either to the left or to the right some, those measurements no longer matter. So, because it's not gonna be accurate, right? If the needle position is not in the center. So, what I like to do is use a magnetic seam guide to create a heightened and raised up layer that I can then use to follow the edge of my fabric on, and that way I can make sure the seam allowance is exactly what I need it to be for the two pieces that I'm sewing at that moment in time. So let's see how this would work. I have vertical lines here, I really don't care. What I'm using from the machine to use the magnetic seam guide is just the metal surface because this is a magnet. And you can see that it sticks. Now, it's tough to move by just bumping the fabric on it, like it's not gonna budge. Even if you're making a handbag or a quilt or whatever, bulkier layers are still not gonna move it, but if you get a good grip on it, you can just slide it off over the plastic where it's no longer metal and it'll just pop right up. All right, so that is the idea behind it. But now how do we place it so we know it's exactly at the position from you know whatever the distance is that we need it to be from the needle position. So in this case, I have my needle position in the center, the default setting on this machine. But if you keep your eye on the needle here, I'm changing a knob at the top and I can change the needle position slightly on this machine. Obviously the higher end your machine is, the more needle position settings you will probably have. So if we have it right there at the center, which is in the center of my presser foot, and we're working on a project that tells us the seam that you're gonna sew here needs to be 5 eighths of an inch. So I need to place this so that the edge of the magnetic seam guide is 5 eighths of an inch from where the needle is, right? Because that's where my stitches are gonna be. So I want it to be 5 eighths of an inch in from the raw edge of the fabric. So to place my magnetic seam guide exactly where I need it, let's say I need it to be 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Because the needle is in the center position, I know that on my presser foot here, I also have a slit right into it, which designates the center position. So instead of trying to eyeball the needle to the measurement, I'm gonna just line it up on the slit in my presser foot. So I'm gonna slide any ruler under here, and I'm gonna line it up so that the 5 8 inch mark on my ruler is right in line with that slit. So that is the positioning of the needle, which is where my stitches are going to be. So 5 eighths is 1 8 inch more than a half an inch. So if this dashed line on my ruler here is half an inch, I'm gonna go one little tick mark bigger to 5 eighths, 
and I'm gonna place that 5 eighths right underneath my presser foot. I do not recommend that you bring the needle down. You're gonna break the needle if it hits something hard like this. So instead, I just bring down the presser foot so that I can make sure it's right there in the slit of the presser foot. And once I have it positioned right where I want it, leave the, the heightened up edge of the ruler in place and we're gonna line up our magnetic seam guide right to the edge of the ruler, all right? So now let's double check it because we always wanna do some type of a test stitch to make sure. Now I can lift my presser foot, remove my ruler, and we're gonna test stitch this just to make sure that it's that setting on some scrap fabric. All right. So now the way that you use the magnetic seam guide is that it is now your heightened up edge here for you to bump up the raw edge of your fabric right up to it. I often tell my students, you should not be looking at the sewing machine needle when you sew. If you look at the needle, you're gonna sew crooked because if your focus is here, then you're not focusing on guiding the fabric straight. The needle is only going up and down. It ain't going nowhere else if you're doing a straight stitch. So your job is to feed it straight so the stitches can be straight because it only is going up and down. So another great way to use the magnetic seam guide for beginners and, and kids is I tell them just to focus here. Make sure that the edge of the fabric is touching there. You don't want it to be hiked up over the edge of the magnetic seam guide, and you don't want it to be super far away from it. It needs to ride right where we placed it for the proper seam allowance. So now let's run a test and see. My presser foot is down. I am only following here with my eyes, making sure that my fabric is touching my magnetic seam guide. pull this out, trim my threads, and now let's measure the seam and see if we're at 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm placing my ruler on the stitch line, and I used a dark thread here, so hopefully you can see it good. Right there, all right? And then you can see that the edge of the fabric is showing through where? At the one tick mark bigger than my half of an inch. So I know from my stitch line to the edge of the fabric here is 5 eighths of an inch, and there we go. It's a perfect seam allowance for what we need. So that's the first one, all right? Now say you're sewing a couple seams later and it says you need to uh, sew this section of the project, like one of the seams that we're doing in the Michelle tank top, tells us to sew a seam at one and a quarter inches, which is pretty big, okay? So let's remove this. We're leaving the needle in the center position. Now I'm lining up the slit in the center of my presser foot at one and a quarter. And this only takes a second, so I'm doing another one so you can see how quick I do it. Boom, there's my one and a quarter. Bump up my magnetic seam guide, get it out of the way, done. And if you know that technique for measuring and placing the magnetic seam guide, you know it's gonna be dead on every time. The first couple times you do it, sure, feel free to make these sample pieces. Again, I'm only watching here to make sure the fabric is touching the magnetic seam guide the whole way through. Now let's measure from stitch line to the edge of my fabric, one inch and a quarter. So perfect seam allowances every time, especially on projects that call for multiple different seam allowances in the one garment. Now I'll briefly comment to the use of magnetic seam guides on sewing machines. I see oftentimes on the internet people saying that the magnets on these will mess up your sewing machines. This is a mechanical machine. There's no computerized anything in there where the magnet is going to affect it. So if you have a vintage machine or a, mag or a uh, otherwise mechanical machine like this, feel free to use the magnetic seam guides. Remember, we carry these in our online shop. So I've included a link for you in the description box below on where you can grab one. Now on computerized machines, I have talked about this in depth with my sewing machine tech who's been doing this for over 30 years. And in his experience working with all different types of make and models of sewing machine, he has yet to come across a machine, a computerized one, that has any type of computer parts or chips in the area that we place this in, all right? So I have been safely using these magnetic seam guides for years on very expensive sewing machines and I have yet to have a problem. But if that's something that you, you know, are a little hesitant about, feel free to contact your sewing machine manufacturer and see what they say first. All right, so there you have it. It's a quick and simple tip, but it is very, very important because 
Even if you cut out the right size of the pattern that you're making and you cut your pieces of fabric correctly, if you don't sew the proper seam allowance at every seam to make sure that it's accounted for whatever the added allowance is in those pattern pieces by the pattern manufacturer, then your garment is not going to turn out the right size or at least the size that you're thinking it's going to turn out as. So make sure that you double check the seam allowances that the pattern pieces call for at each individual seam. Just because the pattern tells you a quarter inch does not mean that it's gonna go a quarter inch through every single seam. So make sure you read the instructions to make sure of that and then go ahead and use your magnetic seam guide to make sure that every seam you sew is nice and accurate. Remember, I've included a link for you below on where you can grab these. If you enjoyed this video, hit it with a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.